2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA. A look at the 76ers starting group. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Ari out there with Tyrese Maxey. Here we go. And it's healed in at the small forward. And for Milwaukee, Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. The big men on the floor for him, Giannis and Portis. And it's Lillard in at the point. Nice shot by Portis. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide open teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Now here is Lowry. No good on the triple. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And Maxi gets there it to go Maxie. on the assist by Harris. The number of threes are increasing for Maxi since he entered the league. He is getting more comfortable out there. Lillard, the pass to Portis. Back to Lillard from deep. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Well, that's one way he can finish. But far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And that one's good, Maxi. That is how you respond, Maxi, with the three of his own. Lillard scanning the floor. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Philadelphia ahead, up by one. We've got more. Six. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Patrick Beverly out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Middleton in at the small forward. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. This one for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Here's Lillard. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And that's just not enough to affect Lillard. His focus, unreal. Here's Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. Embiid inside the line. Lose contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. We see this so often. Embiid makes a strong move, drawing contact, and completes the play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Lillard outside. Passes it to Gallinari. From the arc. That shot is off. And so it's Philadelphia. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. And they flat out dominated that second quarter. And now with the second half. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Tyrese Maxey in this one, guys. He has been everywhere. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. offense. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. The pairing up front is Harris and MB. Ari out there with the Anthony Melton. And it's healed in at the three. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Melton. 
Another three for Philadelphia. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Lillard. And Embiid with the block. Every year he's a defensive player of the year candidate. His instincts, that's what makes Embiid outstanding. And his awareness of when to go for the block. And a deep three from Lillard. And the Bucks miss again. Embiid against Lillard. Another three for Philadelphia. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. And with that three-pointer, how about ending that 11-0 run by Philadelphia? And so it's Philadelphia taking a 19-point lead into the break. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense... And now we take a look back to Doc Rivers talking to his team from his... Hey, Doc, we need a run right here. Come on. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Philadelphia. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall yeah, shot selection Wilson. was better. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. So with Lillard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Gallinari is out there with Jake Crump. And there's Jackson, and it's Brooke Lopez, and it's Beverly in at the one. Philadelphia with the ball. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Connects from three-point range. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. Beverly deciding where to go with it. Missed. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. The end of the Team to you. All right, now joining us is Blake, who couldn't be here with us today, but we had to bring him on to talk about his favorite 2K TV. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Suns take it on the Lakers. For the Phoenix Suns, a loss in their opening game. They're laser focused now on winning that first one tonight. Lakers, Suns, tip off just moments. Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in. Here are the five for the Suns. 
All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. And for the Lakers, D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Achimura in at the small forward position. It seems like rookies these days get more playing time right away compared to past generations. But, Smitty, you were relied on immediately. Yeah, I was a top five pick for the Miami Heat, and they were only in their fourth season as an expansion team. So I knew I was going to get a chance to play. I just wasn't sure of how much. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Booker, the pass to Beal. Back to Booker from deep. And the Suns get another three. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Booker getting those three points back easily. James deciding where to go with it. Pass to Reeves. Here's Russell. Back to Reeves. Here's James. Guarded by Durant. To the inside. And Beal gets it to go on the assist from Durant. Beal's got five. That's a great look from KD. Knew exactly what the defense was doing and delivered the pass right on time. The three from Russell. And he parries his first look. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for his shot. The Suns have gone three of three so far from the floor. Durant, the pass to Booker. And the Suns get another three. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. James with the ball. Nurkic picks him up. Uses the glass on the layup. Power and persistence. LeBron refusing to be knocked around. Outside Durant. And Nurkic throws it down. Incredible work right there on the glass. Just doing all he can to extend that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Booker against Russell. Booker, good. Give him eight. There's something that is great about Booker. He doesn't take all outside shots. I mean, Devin can score it inside, too. Here's James. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right. He's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. But still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Just their first miss of the night. They've been aggressive, and they've been proficient. Durant with it. Picked up by James. It's stolen by James. For the finish! And finished off by Davis! Incredible anticipation by LeBron. Kick starts the break. Here's Beal. And blocked! That one goes careening off the glass. The floater. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Knocked away. Durant, the pass to Beal. Takes a 13-footer. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. And always interesting to look back at last season. These were the NBA's best transition team. The fourth spot held by others. You know, it really made for some exciting games the way this team ran the floor. Always maintaining impressive energy in transition. And you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Offensive rebound. James with the block. Gotta be careful when LeBron James is nearby. He is too smart. 
I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end, sending shots away in incredible fashion, loving the hustle. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. Nurkic against Davis. Shot by Nurkic, no good. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Los Angeles has gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. Here's Russell, sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Pass to Durant. No good off the back of the rim. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. And so Beal will bring it up for Phoenix. Nine-point game. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Phoenix has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. From outside the arc, and another three for the Lakers. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Phoenix calls timeout, and when healthy, Anthony Davis is a force. An athletic big man who is a matchup nightmare. B.A., A.D. has to find a way to stay healthy, because when he's out on the floor, there's no doubt he's one of the best in the business. They're having a hard time stopping this run. And B.A., you can't afford to keep coming up empty. Pass to Durant. There's the triple. Hachimura with a rebound. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. He drops it from range. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. James has got 12 points. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. Durant against James. Durant with another miss. He's been scoreless for a while now. They're still trailing here. They might want to move to some other options offensively. The shot's good. He's got nine. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. And Phoenix shooting only 35% so far in this quarter. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. And another three for the Lakers. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Achimura's gone two for two so far from three. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. Phoenix no good that time either. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. The three from Russell. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And they've got the deep reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Here's Booker. Coming off a 34-point game against the Warriors in San Francisco. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. Vincent checked in for Russell. And the Suns making a change here. Here's Reeves. 
It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Counted from distance. Oh, it's just waiting threes for them early. Phoenix has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Poke loose. It's stolen by James. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Jumps up. And it's James with the jam. I love the effort and energy from LeBron. He knows how to turn a steal into a score. They desperately want to stop this run. Might be time to switch things up. Try a new play call or something. Tipped away. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. 